at Math 31, let's take a look at a few more relations just presented in different formats. We'll do one that's familiar, a la example one. That's a list of ordered pairs. Then we have this visual down here or over here. And then even though we can't see it, there's a little table in part C that we'll take a look at. And I wanna talk about the vertical line test. Now the vertical line test I defined at the bottom of, of this paper. So let me scooch all the way down and then I'm gonna scooch all the way back up so we can use it. So if we look at the vertical line test, right, it says if every vertical line intersects the graph of a relation in no more than one point, then the relation is a function. So we're gonna play this out. I'm gonna show you how you can use the vertical line test and apply it to graphs of relations and then determine yes or no, are they functions? And I, I don't necessarily use the vertical line test when I just have ordered pairs like I do in example two, but when we get into more complicated graphs, I definitely use the vertical line test. So we're gonna draw vertical lines, as many as you want, through our graph, and we're gonna see if those lines intersect our relation in no more than one point. And when you hear no more than one point, that means one or fewer points and when you say one or fewer points, that really means one or zero points on the graph. So I'm gonna show you how the vertical line test plays out with these more basic relations, again, when they're just ordered pairs, and then we'll extend on that when we get to the more complicated relations. All right, so I'm gonna scooch back down. So let's take a look at our ordered pairs, or at least our relations, and we'll just determine yay or nay, are they functions? All right, so let's go ahead and graph this. Now, I've stressed this before, but it's great to repeat it. Anytime you graph for me, make sure you label and scale your y-axis. So I've labeled them, x and y. I need to scale them, which means put some numbers on them. If I look at the numbers I have here, they're relatively small. It actually looks like the largest one I get to is five. So just to be a little different than what I normally do, I'm gonna make every two squares equal to one unit. And let me do that along the Y. All right, and let's go graph these. So I need to go to negative four, one, two, three, four, and then negative two, one, two, there we go. And then I need to do negative one, zero. I need to do one, two, and then three, five, like that. All right, so I've got four ordered pairs. Now, if we wanna do this a la example one, I'll just look and notice that every X coordinate is unique. So this is definitely a function. Now, if you wanted to apply the vertical line test, to determine whether or not this relation was a function, you could send as many vertical lines through this graph as you wanted to. So I could send a vertical line here, right? I could send a vertical line here. I could send one right at x equaling negative one. And you can send as many as you want. And the rule for the vertical line test, it just says if every vertical line intersects the graph of your relation at no more than one point, then it's going to be a function. So for example, this vertical line intersected my relation at zero points. This one was at zero points. This one was at one. Right? I could do a, a bunch of lines that intersected zero, but I could do one here that intersected at one, intersected at one, intersected at one. And every line I'm gonna draw will intersect my graph, or I should say my relation, at one or fewer points. So yes, this is a function. This is something that passes the vertical line test. Now I'm gonna erase all this because it just kind of makes my graph crowded. But that's what we have on that front. So this one passed the vertical line test. And just to give us a preview of where we're going not too far from now, I wanna talk about the domain and range. And again, these are concepts that I assume you've heard of before, but we should just review them a little bit. Now I just have ordered pairs, so I don't have intervals. And when I don't have intervals, when I just wanna make a list of numbers, I'm gonna use little squigglies, right? So I'll have, I, my domain is negative four, negative one, one and three, all of my X coordinates. 
and my range is the list of y values, which is negative 2, 0, 2, and 5. All right, when we get to continuous functions, these will turn into intervals. All right, let's take a look at example B. Again, I'm gonna label and scale my x and y axis. And when I look at my numbers here, they are a little bit larger. So I'm gonna go one unit per square. So I'll put 10 here, 10 here. All right, so I can see my first ordered pair is one, four. I can see my next one is two, five. And I also have two, six. And then I have three, seven. So there are those four numbers that we have happening. Now, maybe you can see here that you've got one X coordinate getting mapped to two different Y coordinates. And again, that is bad. Oops, you can't see the word bad or the letter bad. This is bad news. But if you didn't notice that, then you could apply the vertical line test. Now, if I take my ruler and I start drawing as many vertical lines as you want here, 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 you can keep on going, but the important vertical lines are gonna be where these X coordinates are. So if I drew a vertical line here, I'm only gonna intersect that relation at one point. Okay, that's, that's safe, that's fine. But here's the problem. You can see that when I go and I draw that vertical line, this vertical line intersects my relation at two points, and that is not okay. That's a relation that fails the vertical line test, so we would say, no, this is not a function. All right. And just, just so we have this in here, I'm gonna put it on the margins here. Our domain in this example, again, because we just have sets of ordered pairs, our domain are all the X coordinates, and our range is all the y coordinates, four, five, six, and seven, okay? All right, now again, because it's all crowded, I'm gonna erase all my vertical lines, but I wanted you to see a relation that failed the vertical line test. There's so much in there. Let me just start that graph over. Um, what do we have? One, four, two, five, six, three, seven, there we go. All right, last example on this page. Let me scooch this up so we can see it. All right, so we've got some ordered pairs. Let's see if these are relation, uh, excuse me, let's see if this relation is a function. And again, you might be a little suspicious, like, well, there's repeated Y values. And if, if you struggle with that, then graph it. I think things become a lot clearer, or at least they do for me, once I can see the graph. So let me go graph all of these. Now I go negative five, zero, five, and twos. So actually I'm gonna make my X axis and Y axis go every two squares. So we'll put a five here and a five here. So I'm gonna go negative five, two. I'm gonna go zero, two. And then I'm gonna go five, two. And you can see from that relation that if I were to send vertical lines through here, they would maybe intersect my relation at one point or mostly zero points, and that's safe. So I would say yes, right? This relation passes the vertical line test, so it is a function. All right, so again, it's okay when your Y values repeat your, your relation can still be a function. It's not okay when your X values repeat. And in terms of these Y values repeating, that will play a role when we further classify our functions as either one-to-one -one or not one-to-one. -one. So while this is a function in part C, it is not a one-to-one -one function. And I know we haven't defined that yet, but I just wanna give you a preview. Versus in part A, we didn't have any repeated y values, so not only is this a function, this is gonna wind up being a one-to-one -one function. All right, so on the next page, we're gonna apply that vertical line test and see if we can determine just visually, are these graphs relations or functions? I'll see you in a few, bye.